Odie? Are you there? I can see you! There you are! Hi, Odie! Look at all those dishes! Do you need help washing them? All right, let's go! Let's run the hot water. And now we add the soap. Odie, look at all the bubbles. Do you want to find out how bubbles are made? Bubbles are air wrapped in soap film. When air makes contact with soap, the soap sticks together around the air. The surface of a bubble is made up of a thin layer of soap molecules, then a thin layer of water, followed by another thin layer of soap molecules. Water and soap work together to hold air inside. As the air pushes to get out, the soap pulls to stay together. Bubbles can stretch into all sorts of weird shapes, but once the bubble seals, it shrinks into the smallest possible shape, directly proportional to the volume of air it contains. So bubbles are very efficient because the sphere shape uses the least amount of soap to form a bubble. Bubbles pop when they are poked, or when they land on something sharp. Bubbles also pop when the water between the soap film surfaces evaporates. Okay, Odie. Let's quickly finish washing the dishes and then we can go play outside with bubbles. We are outside and we brought everything we need to make bubbles! But before we start, Odie, do you want to try an experiment? We are going to try three different bubble wands to see what size bubbles each one makes. We've got a star-shaped wand, a small circle-shaped wand, and a bubble wand with many circles and ovals. Let's start with a star-shaped wand. Look at all those big bubbles! Now let's try the small circle-shaped wand. This one makes medium bubbles. And now we're going to try the wand with all the ovals and circles in it. This makes small and medium bubbles. 